Hey guys, Johnny Roman. It is late night. I just got back from my model club. Yeah, I'm a geekoid annoyed. But anyways, I belong to a model club and went to the auction tonight. And this was one of two kits that I was going for. And I got it, which is good. The other one was a um, German motorcycle, 135th scale. Uh, Tamiya kit sealed with a couple figures. I missed out on that. It went beyond my comfort zone. But as usual, uh, look at this. I came home with too much stuff. Uh, we're going to go models tonight. This is what I started with. <laughs> but we ended up with this. Oh, you ready? Let's get our model geek on. Thanks for coming into the supper club. It's a toy car case event at Johnny Roman's Supper Club. Special edition, come with me! Spring has sprung and we are heading out to the garage sales, flea markets, and toy shows! Those are where the greatest treasures are found! You never know what you're gonna find! Somebody stop me! Hey guys, look at this. The Ford T Ambulance M1917 AEF. Now, I always love ambulances, and this one is really cool. It is a Ford T. Now, the guy that was auctioning this off, he bought a real Jeep from this guy, and the guy that he bought the Jeep from actually rebuilt, oh, I'm getting all sorts of glare on this. He rebuilt this actual car, and that's what they, base this model off. There's the actual car right there. And he said if I want to build it to specs to perfect that he could get me actual photographs of this car that was refurbished. I love these old vintage Model T's and A's. So look at this. This is a complete kit. You've got all sorts of information on it where numbers go uh, this is this is a sweet little kit very simple it is a small scale I think it's 172nd oh it's 148 scale Wow so anyways that looks just tiny to me but 148 is tiny look at some of those pieces you gotta have super patience Oh, but this is very cool. I'm excited for this. Oh, I'm telling you, big fat fender truck. Model T, so cool. I'd love one of those uh, ambulances from the MASH era. I'm going to put this back in. Now, unfortunately, one of our members passed away super early and left a ton of kits and they're selling off kits um, in a big auction but tonight they were getting rid of pieces and parts things that were already started and selling them just to get some money for his widow and and so I wanted to help her out and oh I love these weirdo kits now this is Freddy the flame out and as you can see, he's got a jack a whack a lack attack. But nothing a little glue and stuff can't fix on that. Paint that up. And look, here's some extra rockets from one of the military planes. Here's his helmet. Now, we just customized one of the, the, uh, oh, I don't even remember what it was. It was in the, the motorcycle one. So, oh, there's his teeth. <laughs> I hope it's all here. And if not, guess what? We'll make it up. But I think I'm going to work on this tomorrow. Kind of fun. Here's the airplane. Now we can customize that a little bit further. You can tell the glue on this is old. So you sand it out smooth and stuff so it paints up nice. Maybe drill out some areas. 
maybe add some length on those wings or round them out or something add something on the tail I don't know maybe some big stinger missiles or something underneath could be fun so anyways we've got all these little pieces and parts here's the base oh you know what I'm only seeing one arm right now uh oh <laughs> You can't make up arms too easy. <laughs> oh, there's the other arm. Oh, <laughs> look at that, that's good. So we got two arms, a helmet, a head. <laughs> oh, that is gonna be good. So it's basically like this. Head's a little crooked in there, but again, playing around with models. Now here's the decals. Sorry, I'm a little off camera here. Look at this. Flame out, tiger, some American stickers on it. This can be put together ahead of time and all painted afterwards. Where some models you gotta paint as you go. I love these old hawk kits. So simple and true. Now this one, this one actually has a UPC code on it, so it was released a little bit later, but it's still a weirdos. It's not a uh, Polar Lights got some great box art on this. Now this is the one that that I just built. I've got this. I've got all these. I've done this one in the past. Very fun. You know the ones I don't have are the Beatles, <laughs> like the the singing group one, which again are so funny. Now because some of these are built up and the, the pieces are taller than the boxes, it's hard to close these boxes. So anyways, this is one of the kits that I got to help out. Oh, there's, there's so many more that I just were beyond my comfort zone. Look at this, the Bat Cycle. Batman, Bat Cycle. Now this one had a window so you can see what color it was, UPC. All plastic assembly kits. And look at this. Remember? <laughs> Batman's little scooter that shot off the off the bat cycle. This one is cool. This one, a copy of it. I don't know if it's original or not, is up at the Volo Antique Music Car Museum up in Volo, Illinois. That was like a crazy day. Now look. Again, this sometimes people wouldn't dig into this, but I had to. I had to help out my good friend and their family in a time of need. So we, I bought up a bunch of pieces and parts. And now this is how he was priming it. He was covering the wheels with tape and stuff and priming it. So you've got two wheels on here all taped up. It's all glued together. Spray primed it on the bat cycle there. Here's Robin, started painting it, which is a riot. It's just so, so funny. Just so, so funny. I'm gonna lower this down just a little bit so we can see a little better into the pieces and parts as I go through them. We'll put a card in so you know it's Johnny Roman. Okay, but look at this. He started building it. Look at the dust on that just crazy cool the wheels that is nice here's the Batman figure now you can see some flashing on there you just cut that off carefully or that's where the cape goes on and here is the cape now I did find larger scale Batmans just loose in boxes of parts and pieces. See there it is. And no head. <laughs> Batman had no head. So I'm going to have to go through. This is pretty much put together for the most part. Here's, the, here's your clear parts. Your windshield. Here's the uh, go-kart couldn't think of it so 
Robin sits on this go-kart like this. <laughs> I love models. It's so much fun. And then he would just like go sailing off to wherever. Got some putty on that arm. Needs to be taken care of. Putty on the leg. So he actually started doing it. I'm going to build this as a tribute to my friend. Hopefully finish this up and do him proud on this. Now here's the plastic. So I'm going to stick my clear parts in the plastic just to protect it so it doesn't get scratched as it gets banged around here. They're going to do a model club later on this summer and hopefully I can get some of this stuff done by then. That would be great to honor him. This Flame Out Freddy might take a while. You know, they're still doing videos and stuff. Now you, you see in the bottom there, there's the wheels to the go-kart. There's more wheels and tires. Some chrome pieces. Looks like some late in the game stuff. So here's the here's the sidecar. Here's where Robin sits in his go-kart all ready to shoot out. And all he needs is the AOK -okay from Batman to take off. <laughs> Ah, oh, that is so much fun. So that's one more kit I got to add to the collection. Here's the Bat Cycle with Robin's detachable go-kart. Oh, so much fun. Model kit number 6902. Here's some of the other kits. Johnny Lightning, our favorite die-cast model kits. And this is all Polar Lights. And this is, this is, I guess, when Polar Lights owned Johnny Lightning. The licensing for it. The bat plane. Kind of nice. Now, he's done a lot of this work. But I'll have to go over, double check, get some paint on this. Might have to be uh, scratched up a little bit. I don't know if I can paint as nice as other people on this, and especially when it's all together. Might have to brush it on, and boy, that's going to be brush and paint, brush and paint. I did find Batman's arms in there, so that was a good thing. Now, the, the thing is, again, here's this fragile little radar, whatever this thing is, sticking out of the box, and it's taller than the box, and I don't want to, like, busted so you got to be careful with this stuff now there's a couple sets of decals in here there's uh, this is the original series I've been told by the bat cycle decals but there was another and this is for the Batmobile and that just I don't know where that one is but the there was uh, decals released later that were more accurate to the actual uh, motorcycle. So, oh, oh, how fun is is this? Oh, just think of all the imagination you can do with that. Crazy fun. So, well, that's that's another kit we got. Polar Lights Bat Cycle. It's a uh, skill level 2 UPC code 1-800-MANTIS for playing Mantis great logo and then there's the cycle oh, come on the original Batman in the Batman movie <laughs> oh, so then there's Robbie the Robot. Remember the other day I'm like, oh, this is Robbie the Robot. It isn't. This is from the Forbidden Planet. And again, this is a Polar Lights long box. Love these. Now, I've never had this kit before. And it started, you can see. But it doesn't look too bad. See that? So, 
hopefully all the pieces and parts are in here because otherwise we're gonna do some droid type of thing Star Wars droid type of thing I don't even know how this all goes together I'm gonna have to follow the instructions on it but I'm hoping it's, it's all in there but all you modelers out there you know once you start a model then you get sidetracked with life and then you're like oh I want to build this model instead and you start really kind of going in a different direction but it it looks like most of the pieces are here here's the other foot so that's good and you've got partial arms here you've got a torso now you got all sorts of pegs here and all sorts of pegs here that kind of just gotta line it up to the right way it goes Again, that looks like a pretty simple put together. Oops, maybe that I got it on, but it maybe it's backwards. So let's turn it around. It literally locked into place. There we go. Locked into place. Got the feet in. Here's your arms. Whoops, <laughs> locked into place, but not glued into place. Here's your arms. That's kind of fun, look at that. Lickety split, the work's all started for you. Oh, oh, that is cool. Now what would have been really cool is if they had the girl going across his arms. Oh, that would have been a riot. So here's the directions. Forbidden Planet, Robbie the Robot. Oh, look at all these. Oh, so I've got that one. I built that one. Me and Soda Pop built those together. I built this one. This one is a riot. I changed it up a lot. I don't have the Cyclops. I don't have the... Oh, I might have the Jupiter too. The robot from Lost in Space. We just saw that in a video. I don't have the Munsters. I don't have the Bride of Frankenstein. That might be kind of cool. Oh, I do have a couple of Snapdragons. And I do have the Kyle Casper Undertaker Dragster. Cool kids, baby! Oh, oh. oh look at this. Simply dimply dimply do. Oh man, there's a lot of details in that. A lot of patience, but very fun stuff. Look at that. You got different hands for that. Choice of hands. Now one of the hands is already glued in, so one of two things. You can either keep the hands the way Larry had it, which I probably would do, or you take them apart and you can cut it off and do it the way you want. Anyway, this is Larry's kit and I'm just honored to help out his wife find the pieces and parts and these buildups that usually most people don't want. And uh, we'll see what we can do on painting it up and seeing if we can weatherize it, customize it. Here's some chrome pieces and some some clear oh, it looks pretty cool <laughs> I might be gluing tomorrow so today was like 60 degrees today very nice literally no coat no nothing and guess what again with this snow tomorrow two weeks ago we had seven inches of snow maybe eight <laughs> and guess what Tomorrow, snow again. That's why I'm filming right now, so I can get stuck behind and not worry about anything when it's snowing. Oh, look at this Batmobile. The Batplane, the Batwing. Kind of fun. This was another kit I got. Now, again, I just went for that little Model T ambulance and I come home with all this other stuff. Crazy. There's your clear parts. And look at this. 
Oh, that is cool. I don't think he even started this. Look at this. I can't tell if that's sprue or hinges. Wouldn't that be cool if this thing all hinged up and stuff? But this looks like a huge model kit. Not a ton of parts. Oh, still very cool. <laughs> what a nerd. Is there a bat figure? Oh, there is a figure in there. I'm just pulling out pieces and parts. Thinking you can see all that I can see, but you can't. Look at that. That is... That is pretty cool. I was told by one of the club members that if you're careful, you things will actually move and rotate and stuff. Here's Batman. Here's the front of him. The back of him. Here's his two arms. You can position them. Here's his uh, seat and command center. 1990 DC Comics and there it is the bat symbol now it looks like only one piece fell off the screw hopefully it's true and then we've got all these little bat symbols and stuff I don't know if you can see them but they're there you know what did I I'm getting way ahead of myself here here's the glass so that's good here's the big missiles and stuff. Bat bombs and bat grenades and bat turbines. Oh, all that stuff is so much fun. You know what I don't see is directions. Ah, I bet I can get them online or I got a friend that's got every direction in the world. Maybe he'll lend me the directions so I can do this model when I need them. Oh, look at that. AMT kit. Now, uh, AMTs normally aren't really known for great kits, but hey, you never know. You never know, right? 2003 on that bat guy. So, then, kids, let's see what else we got in this box. Oh, oh, oh look at this. The Batmobile. Now let's dump this all out and see what we got here. Now remember, always check your flaps on boxes to make sure nothing's up under there. So here's the Batmobile, polar lights, Batman. Oh, so cool. There they are, the Boy Wonder. Look at this. And they got resin figures of both Batman and Robin. Here's Robin. Here's Batman. So cool. The TV Batman. I'm just trying to look at all these pieces and parts. Body's primered. So that's good. Got the hood primered. Get down here again. You got this engine in there. Got a little fuzz, a little DNA going on. Here's your back. Primered. Got four tires and wheels. Nice with the bat symbol in the middle. Oh, I'm telling you, you youngins that don't build models, this is a riot. It is patience, but. 
what is this? This is clear. Jets for the back end? No, because it's only a single. I don't know what that is. And then I got this piece, which... All that goes in between. Here. And then your body on. We are missing glass on this. Oh, it's too bad. Maybe we can make shift something. And then here's your wheels. Mix, missing the axles on there. Oh no, they're there. Pretty nice, got a bad dent. Like he sanded that off. Doors are recessed greatly. I don't know if those were meant to open or not. But oh please, it's a Batmobile. Got another number 11 uh, Exacto blade. Kids, very sharp. Be careful with that. So look at this. Polar lights. There's the Bat Cave. Very cool. That's the windshield we need. We're missing. It's not this thing. I don't know what this thing is. Here it is, driving down the road. Ah, oh, tell me you, you love Batman. Come on. Anyone that's older, <laughs> in their 50s, they remember the TV show. Resin Batman and Robin, very cool. Wow. Again, just be careful. I'm gonna put this back in the box so I don't have to deal with it. Got a little schmutz there and we're gonna just push that off to the side. So, we got a Bat Cycle, Bat Wing, Batmobile. Let's see what else we got in the bottom of this box. Oh! What do we got here? I don't know what that is, but it came out of something. So look at this. The Depth Charger AMT. Very cool kit. I love these show rod goofy. It's the Depth Charger Aqua Rod. Look at that. <laughs> that always cracks me up. Straight from Davy Jones's custom shop comes the nautical but nice depth charger. It's a fire out aqua rod with rear mounted deep six engine, scuba style body, and gobs of Neptune inspired accessories. Turn on this bubble machine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at this. Got an anchor, you got a spear gun and pontoons, floaters, snorkel, exhaust. And are these tires, they just crack me up. It's so much fun. So again, this is built up. What's that? Is that like a big AMT sticker? Could be. Kind of cool. Got all the decals in there. Oh, look at this! <laughs> it's a mini box. Oh, I'm gonna have to lay that down. Someone said you lightly missed it with water, which is always scary to me. And then put it under a big, heavy something or other, and it'll take this wrinkle out. I got mini boxes of other things. Oh, I love that. So you can display a mini box with your model kit. Oh, look at what's in here. What is all this stuff? Here's sprue. There's a couple of the flags and stuff that's part of the accessories. Some tie rods. 
look at this funkadelic psycho psychedelic colors that you can choose from for your colors for your aqua rod how cool is that you've got clear purple <laughs> blue and orange oh so the, the the big one goes in front and these are your side panels so you can make it any color you want never realized that a and t now again a and t's aren't always the best in going together but who knows oh it looks like he started painting this which is cool kind of like a rusty color it's almost like he washed it a little bit like a not a full paint but just like a skin coat wash here's the body snorkels at the top <laughs> so much fun now somewhere in my collection I've got an original kit of this original release kit Oh, here's the big air tanks for the back. Look at these big tires. They crack me up. So much fun. Deep hubcaps on that. Now, it's got it painted, but look at that. It's all kind of whacked like a jack attack. But you know what? This is underwater, and underwater, I'm guessing, oh, all sorts of DNA on that. Now they have dogs too, so this is probably a lot of dog hairs. So you got a collar, here's the hubcap. Tires have a, a tongue and groove type of fit together. Just push them together. And there it is. The monster orama. And then in the front, <laughs> little tinies. <laughs> oh, I love that. Cracks me up every single time here's the engine he started painting aqua blue of course and gold love it kind of flat color but that's okay it's under the sea right oh this is so cool my brother mo he's been scuba diving before i think there isn't anything in the world that he hasn't done or mastered he's one of those guys that just does it all and does it great so this reminds me of him, so that's kind of cool. And again, some of these being started already might make it real easy to finish off quickly. Now, I might not be the best of the best. You know what I'm gonna do? If this, yeah, that fits on the bottom of the box. I'm gonna pull this all out, dump it all out. I'm gonna put this in the bottom of the box flat as flat as it can be. Then I'm gonna put the instructions on there. Holy smokes. Whoa, whoa. Put the instructions on there. And then the flat sp sprues on there. See that? And hopefully that'll weight it down a little bit. These instructions in there. Hopefully the, or the uh, decals, hopefully the decals won't get kind of bent up on that but that's okay back this up a little bit and then put all the pieces and parts in oh, he's got one of the headlights in there now did did one of the headlights just yeah i think this just popped off of that <laughs> it was just on there a second ago so you might have to be re-gluing some of this stuff get everything back in i don't that looks like the axle for the big tires, painted kind of blue. Looks like a macaroni noodle, like those old necklaces you made for your mom. Oh, I just, I keep piling stuff in here and it's like crazy. 
So that's that's one more kit of the kits that I was only buying two kits tonight and one kit I didn't get. But again, when, when you got a friend in need and his widow is, is needing help, uh, sometimes you just gotta go beyond your comfort zone and help out. So here's the last little thing that I got that, well not the last, but another thing I got that I've never seen before. A B-17G Flying Fortress bomber, but it's like this, like this cartoon little thing. And I'm wondering if the glass came out of that. Which <laughs> just kinda, so here's all the decals, they're a little cheesy for me. Maybe not. So here it is. Oh yeah, that that baby, that is. That fell out of the box. And there's the glass for it. <laughs> but look at this little thing. Cracks me up. I've got three of the four propellers. Oh, look at this. Another gun turret. So, oh, this one's this one's like almost totally done. The glass goes in there. Look at that. Fits nice. And this goes in here. Fits nice. We're just missing one propeller. Is it on the tree? I don't see it. Ah, there's one tire too. <laughs> oh, so close to getting done. It's probably on the floor somewhere. So, can you improvise with a different propeller? Got the bomb bay doors open with the bombs hanging out, all the guns there. Or do you just like fake it? I don't know. That's a cute little kid, is <laughs> cracks me up, cartoony. I dig it though. One wheel. Here's one piece. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's the wheel for the back busted off right here so that might be able to be glued in place but one wheel off one wheel on oh that's too bad directions are on the back look in our box but I don't see anything but what tells me if if that glass came out of the box in transport it might be in the bottom of the main moving box it could be in my the, in my truck I'll have to check that out check everywhere for little pieces and parts whenever you're dealing with this kind of stuff oh this is fun now I'm gonna show you this box Here's the directions on the box, too. Just how to do everything. Just simple, fun little kit. I got those. Just don't have that one wheel. Again, you know, someone that does resin or something might be able to do it. Or you might get lucky like that propeller today and find it at the bottom of the box so I don't see anything in the bottom of the box here and of course there's a hole in the bottom <laughs> oh well so then they threw in this bag of stuff which I have no idea what it is but I'm like okay we'll see because sometimes we custom build so, I've got these decals, kind of 
cool. And then this, whatever this is, I wonder, is that this? A Brewster B339 Buffalo. Kind of cool looking. Holy smokes, whatever this is, it is huge. A lot of pieces and parts. Oh, Larry had a little bit of everything. He had monsters, he had space, he had tanks, he had cars. He loved it all. Oh, what a great guy he was. Oh, it's a rocket ship of some sort. You got some big rocket in there. So it looks like a jet plane. You got fuselage and look at these little short stubby wings. Oh, there's a pilot over here. The back half of a pilot. The front half. Oh, here he is. Again, if you keep looking, you might find it. Kind of cool. Yeah, that's... That one's another one that's going to need instructions, I'm telling you. I, some you can kind of put together, but some, man, you really need instructions. And there's holes in the bag, so... <laughs> You have no idea if all the pieces and parts are there or not. But that's where your creativity comes in. And who knows. So I'm going to put this off to the side. I keep looking for pieces. Uh-oh, kids. Don't look. Claire, catch me if you can. Here's a vixen. So this is the whole model. It's 124 scale and this is, is this all there is? There's a head, legs, dress, high heels, torso, hair, hands, arms. So in this big box, 124 scale. I didn't know this was in there. So in this big box, all you got was this. One tiny little nothing. Look how thick that box is. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> that is crazy. Oh. Lockheed VC-121E Columbine 3. Oh, that looks like a cool plane. It's all sealed in a bag. Hopefully there's no other parts. There's propellers, but those are too big for a little tiny one. 1144 scale. Look at that. This is tiny. Mini craft models. Interesting. Bag item. Here's this piece. I'm guessing it's out of this big one. Match up grays. And there's a dog treat in there. Some dog food. And sculpte. One little piece of sculpte. This is uh, oven baked clay. So you can make something, bake it, it gets hard as all get out, and then you can paint it. Do not over bake. Do not microwave. Start with clean hands, work area, knead clay until soft and smooth. Shape clay, bake in oven proof glass or metal surface at 275 for 15 minutes. 
per quarter inch of thickness. Do not microwave, do not overbake. Baking should be complete by completed by an adult. So that was in my mystery bag. And then here's the scary thing. It is the death dealer. Now, this one is kind of crazy. It comes with like a book. It's kind of scary. But it seems like a pretty simple kit. So again, I think this might be a kit that you can put all together first and then paint later. So, here's the guy. And I saw when I, I looked at it earlier, here's his cape. Cape and one arm in the cape. So it kind of sits like that. And here's his scary head. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but that's his scary head. He's looking at you like, hey, come over here, let's go out for ice cream or something. Kids, if you see some guy on a horse that looks like this asking you to go for ice cream or candy, don't go with him. Got a place for a shield. Here's the shield, and here's, look, here's even chains. Like little metal chains you can chain them up oh and the thing is oh come on here here's his horse look at that that's kind of scary looking got his horse have to kind of fix seams and stuff on there. See how these seams are? I'm out. It's dark out. <laughs> I usually have some natural light in here. But look, that ridge needs to be kind of chipped away. Same with on the back end of the horse. You can see right where the the pieces and you gotta kind of fill that with putty and sand it down and it would be really cool oh. so I'm gonna do that again in honor of Larry but I'm trying to put a Christian spin on the, the the fountain of death here or whatever this death dealer is and I don't know but we'll figure out something cool but here's the, oh look at this, I'm busting everything up. So, here's all the stuff I got, which is kinda cool, look at this. Oh, for all you model nerds, kinda cool stuff. I missed out on a Saturn V rocket, one of those four foot tall ones. They sold two of them for $10. For both! I couldn't believe it. I had one as a kid, always wanted one again. But man, it's a lot of work. I'm digging the show rods and all this. So, what do you think? Totally cool. Uh, thanks for watching. Tomorrow, seven inches of snow. It really is gonna stink. Cause I am so much done with snow. It's almost May and we're getting snow still. Is that crazy? Only in Chicago. Hey, thanks for watching, and we will see you on the flip-flop. And today, it's in the plastic model shop. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, I'm digging it. I'm thinking I'm going to start in on that Freddy. 
and maybe get this guy done if I can. Just to honor this guy. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Ah, oh, get your shovels out if you live in the northern part of Chicago or Chicago land. It's going to be rain and snow and grossness. Okay, we'll see ya. Bye bye. I know you're a toy car case guy out there. It is 316 on old Johnny Clark. Let's see what pulled into our parking lot. Hit that subscribe button and you won't miss out. Don't you wish you had that? This is the place to be!